Welcome to Zoe and Bert's Amazing Race Part 2. Admitted to the airport. Welcome to Club Hardai. Crisis, crisis. Bert surprised me with a candlelight dinner. <laughs> so pretty. Wow, nice view. You're the view. <laughs> Hello. Hey everyone. Um, welcome to Zoe and Bert's Amazing Race Part 2. I still have my um, retainers on because, okay, I'll give you a rundown while I'm preparing my stuff right here in my backpack. But basically, me and Bert are going to Coron tomorrow, Monday. Actually, it's already 12 midnight, so basically today. Um, our flight was scheduled at, um, our flight was scheduled at 7, uh, I mean 11 a.m. tomorrow. And so, in our heads, we're leaving 12 tomorrow, okay? And then we receive an email saying that our flight got canceled, uh, our flight was changed. Um, and it is, it is now changed to uh, Monday, September 5th. Um, September 5th, oh my gosh, um, 7 a.m. So basically, uh, we are delayed for a day. And so we have everything planned, we have everything paid already, so we can't afford another day, um, you know, to reschedule everything. And we have, I have like a very tight plan, so I cannot afford to have things change. Um, and so now, we found a flight for 6 a.m. today, Sunday, and it's currently 12 midnight. So basically, we need to leave the house at 3 p 3 a.m. to make it to the airport around 4 and 4 or 5-ish um, so we can board the plane on time. Hello friends. As you can see, I changed clothes because I'm just planning to wear the other dress for another day. But I'm still wearing orange and I'm wearing this polo as a cover-up. And time check, it's already 2 o'clock a.m. I haven't slept. I just keep on worrying about, you know, the trip and all. I just don't want us to miss the flight. It's very spontaneous. Like, right now, I'm pretty calm. All I need is for Bert to arrive here in my house on time. Because, you know, that <laughs> he's picking me up. And he's his dad is picking me up. Um, he should be on the car, but basically, all I need is for him to be on time here, so around like 3 or 3.30 range, for us to make it to the airport by 4 p.m., 4 a.m. So, that's all I need for peace of mind. So yeah, um, I'm just tired, I haven't slept, um, and I'm... And then, like on the side I'm also like dealing with jet lag so basically I'm awake for 24 hours um, I've only slept like three hours but you know what I'll just sleep on the plane I would rather have this panic attack right now versus us missing our flights or even you know just changing the whole travel schedule all in all it's just a whole stressful it's just a whole stressful matter so yeah um, I'll keep you all posted once we're in the airport, but so far I think I'm good. Have my bags done. Just need to know if Bert already took a shower, but bye. We made it. We made it to the airport. Now we need to sleep because we haven't slept. Look at my eye bags. I don't usually have... I don't usually have eye bags, but today I don't have sleep, but thank you for, for making this day possible. Bye. You're looking pretty fantastic. Years pass by with our goals intact. In tandem, we're dancing. Till the night time laps, we're in the daytime stranded. Your self esteem tastes candy. But 
him It's hard to make a man with empty hands Feel hands full of love Like, damn, this is the ground Like the wintertime sun Till our hands move backwards Don't make a sound, it's so fragile Walk them, tread too casual No, I've had it good since I've had you No, I'm scared, it's like this is sad too But this race feel natural Actually, we're from Swanga. We're now on our way to Club Paradise, which we're staying on our first day. Um, it is on a different island, so we're just waiting for the driver. And the driver will take us to a port, and then from port, it will take us to a to the actual island. So stay tuned. Quiet still. Kitchen to turn up the dial But I'm scared to hear the sound I'm scared to hear the sound I'm scared to hear We're here in the paradise I need to go back Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Show yourself. Are you? Paniki? Hindi yung komodo dago. Ah, hindi. Kandami kong video. Lizard? Tama ko nga. Welcome to Club Paradise. Quickie! So, right now, we're still waiting for our room to be done um to be cleaned and prepped because we went so early um this is have said i vlogged this morning actually last night because we had some last minute changes to our room and we had to change it into an earlier time which was 6 a.m and we found out that there were changes at like night 10 or 11 p.m at night so it was a whole chaos but now we made it here and it's lovely um we got to Quran around like 7 a.m. and got here to Club Paradise around like 8 and it was an amazing journey. That's for it. And now we're hiking while we're waiting for a room to be done and we'll find some bats and dra dragons, <laughs> lizards, reptiles or whatever. So look, look at the garden. Bye! So different from what we're used to. <laughs> Hello, reporting. Reporting from Club Paradise, Coron, Palawan. We're here trekking at Eagles Point. We're gonna go to the top and look at the rest of the island. Um, Bert, what's the name of the island? I'm going to go to the island. I'm going to go to the island. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Look where? Look where? It's so pretty. Wow, nice view. You're the view. I need to know me. Okay, see. I need to know for me. So you go side. I want to climb that and see. <sighs> Crisis, crisis, Somolan. Ah. Welcome to our room. Look at that. Hey, pa. Hey, pa. Ano pa? 
Mr. and Inuela, welcome. Congratulations for your strong relationship. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have this. And then, ooh, this is what I love. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh my god. So nice. And then, haven't seen the bathroom. Let's look at the bathroom. Wait, let's look at outside first. There's a duyan. Hi, Bert. And there's a couch on the side. Sikuya with our luggage. And then, ta-da! Bathroom. Um, the shower is so spacious. Ta -da! This is me. That's it. Hi. And we're in the bedroom already. Um, so, story time. I don't know if you guys would understand throughout this vlog. Depends on how I would edit it. But basically, Bert and I went on a hike. Ooh, the waves are pretty heavy right now but Brick and I went on a hike um, all the way up to the Eagles Point um, basically the Eagle Eagles Point is where you see like the whole island and its neighboring island so we went there it was a nice sunny day and then we were taking photos and then we were ready to go down the hike so we wanted to take a photo of like midway where you can see like the hidden island which we love so much um it was a nice view i'll put it here and then we were enjoying it and then like the second photo that i took of bird it was already like getting darker and gloomy and i was like telling bird that you're against the light it's not as good as how you took mine so we just like okay let's it's fine let's just go down and it started drizzling and we were like maybe it's just a drizzle it will pass and then eventually it became a rain a heavy heavy rain and we were all like you we were all wet with the rain and like oh my gosh i can't even imagine and you we were like finding shelter to at least because it, it it got very heavy where to the point that we're just like so worried about our phones and our gadgets and we found this like um hut where they put like the water um water or something water machine water i don't know what you call it converter um and we stayed there for a good like 10 15 or 20 even 20 minutes or so until the rain finally like died down a little and then it turns out we're so close to the finish line we didn't know that we're so close but it was like raining super hard but it was a funny experience. I felt like I'm in a movie. I felt like I was in Survivor because we were literally like finding shelter and finding shade just to avoid the rain. And it's just the funniest thing ever. But it was all worth it because once we got back to um, the main beach area, um, our room was already ready. So we got checked in and they gave us a pretty nice um, decorations. Golden hour. Just look at the sun over there. Um, uh, a bunch of photos it's so rare for me and Bird to go out on a beach trip because we only see each other, you know, quite once every two years. So it's been nice. from the start. You were the other half of my heart. Oh my gosh, guys! 
<laughs> Friends, um, Ritz surprised me with a candlelight dinner and it looks so pretty and I don't know, I'm just so happy. boyfriend and the happy and emotional Zoe as always